The Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Cloth and Kearsarge Heating, the home energy specialist. LaValley Building Supplies, for home improvement and construction, from concept to completion. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Ramonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. And by Casasa, free checking that pays. Now available at Claremont Savings Bank. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide here in Thetford, Vermont, where the Windsor Yellow Jackets lead the Thetford Academy Panthers 13 to 11 as we begin play here in the second quarter. Windsor's ball, their first offensive possession is tipped away and stolen. Ooh. But then thrown from the front court to the back court. And Windsor will take the ball back. Stay tuned at the end of today's hoops matchup for the Ramontos Brick Oven Pizza, pizza Pie Play of the Game. Ramontos Pizza always fresh. So Windsor with another chance here in the second quarter. This time the three point attempt Ooh. is good. Number 12, Duncan Frazier gets it to go. Windsor with their Largest lead of the night, five points, 16 to 11. Bouncing around inside four green jerseys to one white jersey and the Yellow Jackets come away with it. Looking to extend that lead. Ooh, this pass. Nice behind the back pass Ooh. and the three pointer wow. is good. Robert Slocum for the Yellow Jackets. Number 11 gets it to go and he checked into the game midway through the first quarter and had, had, has had an impact so far. Loose ball and picked up by Balch, who loses it, oh. but saved for almost for a minute. As you see coach Harry Ledoux on the sideline giving some Advice to some of his younger players, as we mentioned, this team going to the semifinals last year, graduating a number of seniors. Nice drive by Brown, takes it to the hole, no good, rebound. Windsor and they'll push it again. Three point attempt by number 14. Seth Balch, he doesn't get it to go, but Windsor gets the offensive rebound. And there's the take by Frazier. No good. Thetford Academy takes over. Short, but a nice rebound. Smart play there by number four, Alex Emerson, to be there where the ball fell and reset this possession. Yeah, and I believe Emerson is the only freshman player with these two teams. Definitely a young and upcoming player. Nicely done there, number 10, Lawson Ouellette. The junior gets it to fall and will get a foul on the inbounds. Shooting two free throws. Number 13 for the Panthers, Dylan Thorburn. Trying to cut into this six point lead and Thorburn gets the first one to go, 19-14 as we have a few subs coming in for the Yellow Jackets. Looks like they'll bring three players in. Thorburn second, up and no good. Rebound goes to Ben Meager. Three point attempt there, Duncan Frazier is off the mark. Battling for the rebound, and it's Connor Brown. They had numbers in transition, but ball was mishandled. They'll slow it down, but a drive there by Thorburn. He'll go back to the line to shoot two. Our next YCN Monday night high school game of the week will feature the Lebanon Raiders traveling to Merrimack Valley Pride in Penacook. Game of the week premieres at 8 p.m. on Wednesday nights. Check your TV schedule for additional airings. Thorburn's first free throw is up and good, and in the early going here in the second quarter, it looks like Thetford Academy is 
looking to push the pace as he gets a second one to go and go inside a lot. You've seen them, Connor Brown and Thorburn, the two guys who will take the ball inside as, as opposed to Windsor. They'll spread it around the perimeter as we see th four players standing behind that three-point line in this little weave play that they have, try and get somebody open. Thetford in the man-to-man -man defense, so Windsor will move players around, get somebody open. There's Duncan Frazier missing. Rebound goes to Brown. And Thetford Academy on the drive. Brown, number 14, no good. He'll go to the line. We'll step aside before the free throw. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide here in Thetford, Vermont. Connor Brown's first free throw is up and good. And the Panthers have come all the way back and trail 19 17, they can make it a one point game if Brown can hit the second free throw here. Four forty-five remaining in the first half. Brown's second is up and good. So a one point was a six point lead here in the second quarter for the Yellow Jackets has evaporated down to a one point lead. Oh, nice block inside. Owen Defner with the block. And then Defner will shoot the three, number 22. The sophomore highlight reel gets the block on one end, comes down and gets the three-pointer to fall. Well, very nice job by Defner. And, you know, the Thetford, the Panthers have done a very good job of keeping Stapleton at bay. I believe he's only scored one point so far. And he's really the biggest player on the court, and so Defner making the block and then hitting the three, making a big impact so far. Windsor gets it inside and they get it to go. Number 42, Adam Stapleton, the big guy. Ties it back up for Windsor. They hadn't trailed in a long time and they didn't trail for very long that possession. Nice bounce pass, good ball movement. Not able to get oh. it to go, but nobody could corral the rebound until number four, Nick Moses, comes away with it, and Thetford Academy will keep it again. Oh. This time they get it to go. Number 13, Dylan Thorburn, gets the three-pointer to fall, and the Panthers lead 24-21. Stay tuned at the end of our telecast for the HR Clough Kearsarge Heating turning up the heat player of the game when we'll pick the top performer in tonight's matchup. Nice take there by Ben Meager. Excuse me, number 23. That was Hunter Grella. Windsor finds themselves down three, 24 to 21. After opening up a lead here in the second quarter, give credit to the Panthers fighting back. Couple big threes. Couple good stops on the defensive end and second free throw is up, no good. Bedford Academy with the rebound. Stolen away. And the basket is good. That one's stolen by A.J. Wood, and then he takes it all the way to the hoop. 24-23, one point game now, inside three minutes to play here in the second quarter. One shot here for Wood, trying to complete the three point play and tie up this game. No good, but loose ball foul. We'll sort it out when we come back. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide here in Thetford, Vermont, where Thetford Academy Panthers lead the Windsor Yellow Jackets 24 to 23 inside three minutes to go in the first half. 
Our replays are being brought to you by Casasa. Free checking that rewards in cash each month. Ask for Casasa at Claremont Savings Bank. Qualifications and rules apply. See bank for details. Member FDIC. So the foul on the loose ball was on the yellow jacket. So that put Lawson Ouellette to the line. He's shooting one and one. Made the first one. Misses the second one. And Panthers extend their lead to two. Here come the Yellow Jackets. Trying to tie this game up or take the lead. Nice perimeter defense. And swatted away. Give credit to Lawson who led on the block there. Bedford Academy trying to run and there's Defner. Nicely done, number 22, Owen Defner. Nice touch from 15 feet on the baseline. And the Panthers have their biggest lead of the night with a four point lead, 27-23. Yeah, Defner coming off the bench, doing a lot of good things in this game. Scored five points so far, including a three pointer. Number of nice defensive plays as well. There's Adam Stapleton up and no good. Thetford Academy content to slow it down. But they've been aggressive all half and that's been Helpful in them coming back, and there gets it to go is number four, Alex Emerson. So they've been aggressive coming back, and they haven't slowed down. Now leading by six. Foul on the drive there. They'll give the foul, I believe, number 10. Yes, they will call it on Lawson Ouellette, his first. Team's sixth. And A.J. Wood will shoot two. He hits the first one. Second one for Wood is up and good. 29-25 as we approach one minute, 30 seconds to play here in the first half. There's Defner for three. A little off, rebound. Windsor and they'll run it out. Deep three, number Ooh. 14, Seth Balch from distance. And he makes it a one point game. Stay tuned at the end of today's Hoops matchup for the Ramontos Brick Oven Pizza Play pick of the game. Ramontos Pizza, always fresh. Three point attempt is a little long by Ouellette. Easy rebound there for the Yellow Jackets. Inside a minute now. Pass tipped out of bounds. It's going to stay Windsor ball as they try to take a lead here. They trail by one, 29-28 inside a minute. It's been a very exciting first half here from Thetford, Vermont. Driving baseline is number 23, Hunter Grilla. And that one's no good. We'll see how long Thetford holds the ball here. Looks like the Panthers are content to move the ball around the perimeter. Obviously no shot clock, so they can take as much time as they need. 20 seconds to go in the first half. Make sure they find an open shot. And a little too aggressive there. Nick Moses, excuse me, Alex Emerson with the turnover. Tune in to YCN's outside television in high definition on Comcast HD channel 713 or channel 21 for all the outdoor adventure. So now Windsor has the chance to hold for the final shot. As we see AJ Wood handing it off to Balch who shoots from distance, no good. And time expires. So. With that, we have reached halftime here at Thetford Academy, where the Panthers lead the Yellow Jackets 29 to 28. We'll take a break and come back with the halftime show after this. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. The Game of the Week halftime show is presented by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. 
Welcome into the Echo Communications Halftime Show. We're here at Thetford Academy in Thetford, Vermont. And, Andrew, it's been an exciting first half. Thetford leading 29 to 28, but it's been back and forth. A couple standouts on the floor for both teams. Yeah, Seth Balch has been the leading scorer for Windsor. He has 12 points. He's uh, hit a couple of threes. Done a lot of nice layups. Been good on defense. And then on the Thetford side, uh, Thorburn has scored eight points, and uh, Connor Brown has scored eight as well. Those two guys have led uh, the Panthers in scoring, and uh, Defner has also been good. He's, uh, he's really kept uh, Windsor's big uh, Stapleton at bay with a number of nice blocks, and he's hit a three as well. So we saw it looked like Thetford Academy was aggressive from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Took a little while to get into their offense, but once they did, they took the they had a six or seven point deficit, came all the way back, then took a big lead. It seems like Windsor though is content to move the ball around the perimeter and settle for these better shots. Yeah, Windsor clearly the better shooting team. I think Thetford has missed um, many more field goals than Windsor has, but yeah, Windsor a lot of good uh, three point shooters. They've uh, definitely got a lot of their points from three-point range, so they're definitely more content to kind of pass the ball around and get an open look. Well, it should be an exciting second half, so thank you for tuning in to the Echo Communications Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half after this. Yeah. 